Hey, you guys, welcome back to Crazy Quilt and Crafts with SEK. All right, you guys, getting to the finish line. I'm moving, you guys. I've been blocking, so I'm not giving up. All right, you guys, so what you're looking at right here is block number 18, the World Leagueies. And this is a finishing block of four by fours. I had to do four, got them done. Um, this is a windmill block but it's called world wiggies in the book and i really enjoyed um doing the well pinwheel i'm sorry pinwheel it might be is it pinwheel or windmill i think it's windmill i think it's the windmill i'll double check on that one i think it is yeah it's windmill so this is block 18 again four by four you have to complete um four these are what they're calling the filler blocks in the bond star sampler so this is what it looks like in the book as you can see i did two um colorways in three blocks and then in my other block i used all scraps so it's very very scrappy Y'all see that down there? And I like the way that one came out, too. Um, I think my favorite are these two right here. I really love the way those two came out. So, again, lots of half-square triangles being left over from snowballing and flying geese. And um, I'm scrapping it up. So, um, we got block number 19 and 20 to go. And I already got... 19 cut which is the mill wheels and then again four by four finishing block and you have to make four blocks and this is going to be super scrappy i may get one or two that may look just alike but i'm sure um maybe they all four look different we'll see but that is the pattern that is block number 19 you need four and they have to be four by fours so uh and that one is requiring just two color two colors um on that block and then i think block number 20 the crisscross another one finishing at four by four and right now it's just looking like huh wow that one is using a lot of different um colors not colors but prints but mines will probably be another two tone we'll see or two um patterns all right you guys so that is the re what's required but we already know that we always do what we feel like doing in our own quilts okay you guys so let's see um i'm gonna go back to the other that other block that was getting on my nerves which was um the sword two star the one that was a thorn in my side and I'm going to go back to that, and I'm going to finish up the three that I did not finish on that block as well. And then hopefully, by maybe the end of the week, I will be going back through the book, um, matching up what I did get done. And I know towards the very beginning of the book, you needed um, the bigger blocks needed to have two identical, and then it went to, I think it went to like, maybe three identical or stay two identicals for some time and then with yeah and then the 16 by 16 blocks you had to have two identical of those so it was um two identicals of the 24 by 24 and then two identicals with the 16 by 16 so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna do my very best to do the extra ones that are needed within probably my first maybe 10 blocks i think we'll see so that's what it's gonna be you guys so essie is blocking i am not giving up i'm gonna get through this book and i hope you guys are being inspired to try this um um sample quilt if i could do it you could do it all right you guys so don't give up Keep pushing through. Thank you for all your words and encouragement of encouragement. I really appreciate you guys tuning in and dropping me those comments. They help. So, SK the Crazy Quilt and Crafter. We'll see you guys on the next show and tell. Until then, keep on blocking, baby. Peace.